Hey Zedheads, welcome to the Rundown 36. Today we'll be talking about borrowing and lending horses, daily tournament updates, Budweiser NFT collection, a recap in the Maiden Stakes tournament, another recap of NASCAR challenge number four, and let's see what's going on in the community. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and each of those points will be timestamped in the video description below. Enjoy the video. Bye. Is managing your Zed Run stable eating away all your racing time? Focus Stable Evaluations will provide you accurate data based on your horse's past performance and give you the Zed Edge. Win big, no hassles, no confusing calculations. Let us help you. Use the promo code MESEDO at FocusStables.com and we'll see you on the racetrack. The community tales highlights of borrowing and lending. The Zed Run borrowing market opened just last week and a frenzy of excitement followed. Everyone, both new and AUG players raced to get their hands on a new NFT racehorse to run with for a couple of days. Since the inception of Zed Run, many spectators and stable owners would only dream about how it would feel like to race the household names in Zed Run. Just imagine getting your hands on the Cream de la Cream Z1 Nakamoto NFT race horses. Well, now imagine some lucky owners actually got to experience it within the first few days of Zed Run borrowing. On the other hand, the lenders enjoyed other people racing their NFT racehorses and qualifying for high-end tournaments without them having to do the heavy lifting. To reflect on what went down during the first week of borrowing and lending, we'll look at some of the responses Zed Run got from the community. Speaking to Tom and Motor City Horsepower, he said that he couldn't believe how easy it was for him to receive a Z1 Nakamoto Genesis. Tom and shared how elated he was to see a Z1 loading in his borrowing pool. He shared how empowering it felt to race the elite kind of racehorses. Another avid racer and popular community member on Zed Run, Kadidra Cadet Racing, went into the borrowing experience with zero expectations, but the most amazing thing happened. He was able to bag billions one of the most famous racehorses in Zed Run. Hearing from one of the significant stable owners and lenders, PK, who owns more than 800 racehorses, he says that it's good to see many of them back in action rather than just sitting on the sidelines. Daily Tournaments Updates over the past week, we got the chance to witness two new daily tournaments. The two new systems provided scoring with emphasis on specific racehorses. That included variant scoring, a format inspired by the U-shape racehorses and the Formula ZS inspired by Lucky Maiden. Besides that, the Bloodline tournaments are also here with us. We are seeing significant progress. In fact, the first Finney conditional took place on Saturday. This week we will witness the Buterans hit the racetracks with a bang and to further evaluate the tournaments, they will occur at least four times in the coming weeks. This will allow space to further evaluate them. You can check out the Zed Run Guide on daily tournaments formats if you want to learn more about the upcoming race schedules and formats. Budweiser NFT Collection If you are a Budverskin NFT holder, you can attest that last week was an exciting time for everyone. On September 8th, the Budverse stable owners finally got their chance to send their freshly airdropped racehorses down the track, competing for their share of a $2,660 prize pool. We take this chance to welcome all the Clydesdales and congratulate those who could grab the top spot. Watch the space for more interesting, exciting Budweiser events towards the end of the year. A recap of the Maiden Stakes. The bi-weekly Maiden Tournament was run last week Monday. In this particular tournament, Maiden Stakes took center stage. This was a special time as over 2,000 racehorses hit the racetracks for the first time, looking for their moment of glory with a piece of the $13,500 prize pool on the stake. Something I'd like to remind you about the Maiden Stakes is that it has a specific entry condition, in that only racehorses that have never participated in any race before are eligible to enter the tournament. Here's a breakdown of the finalist in each bracket and distance funnel. Sprinters Category A, Blushing Tide, Digital Chimp Racing. Sprinters Category B, Jeffelt Fish Blues, Senpei Stables. Midrunners Category A, Jordan's Venture, Renthem Racing Group. Midrunners Category B, Banana Buzz, Westy Racing. Marathoners Category A, Fancy B, TCH, Renowned Racing. Marathoners Category B, Boom Alaska, Iceberg Garage. Big congratulations to all the winners. If you didn't manage to appear on the leader's board, I wish you better luck the next time. Stakes recap of NASCAR's Challenge 4 The 108 racehorses that qualified for NASCAR's Challenge 4 finally faced off last week on Tuesday. They participated in the finals as the prize pool of $18,900 was at stake. Half of the qualified racehorses managed to bag a prize with the new top six payout structure. However, there were 12 racehorses and stables that emerged in the first place as follows. 
1,000 meters, monkey tack, catch me ridden derby, 12 meters, the very best there is, iceberg racing, 14 meters, skeeth ter boy, Archibald Royal Family, 16 meters, fluffy for minutes, the taco truck JR, 18 meters, phantom pacer, HER oin racing, 2,000 meters, what you say, old bloke racing, 22 meters, it just happened, bloodstock cartel, 24 meters, tomahawk for two, Thor's pony palace, 26 meters, hallelujah, crazy horse. What's going on in the community? To put you up to speed with what has been going on in the community, we can see that Deco Diva of Diva's Diamond Racing finally reached 2,000 wins on said run. This is a massive milestone she was able to achieve. Follow her Twitter as she wants to give away a racehorse to celebrate this win.